Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at the Silverstone SST-FN121-P, and I've got two variants of it. I've got the blue, and I've got the green, and they're identical except for that fact. Now, they are different from the other FN121 that I just reviewed on, um, so don't you know think they're the same even though they look the same. Um, they also have additional identifiers, which I'll state later when I give you the specs. So let's go ahead and show you what they look like when they're lit up, um, and when they're lit up, what they look like as well, of course. And they both use a three pin connector, of course. Of course, as you know, that they both use the same kind of connector. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so we'll start with the, oh, I'm going to surprise you. Okay, guys, here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell me if you want me to do my right hand, the fan in my right hand or the fan in my left hand. You said right hand? Okay, you got it. Or did you say left hand? Man, I'm having trouble hearing you. Can you speak up, please? Okay, I'll do that one. All right, here we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah nothing special right I do have to say that I like that the way they've ang um, angled the lighting that there is that kind of a little bit of a I don't know I guess you could say it's like a floral kind of pattern on the back there with four petals and on the front the uh the lighting seems to be dispersing to when it gets close to the middle, almost like it's being pulled into the hub. That's kind of cool, I think. Let's go ahead and try out the other one, since that's a green. The green dream. There you go. Very pretty colors, yeah. For some reason, the um, the petals are not a, quite as distinct on this one, but they're still there. But that's, I think that's, yeah. I think I like it on the blue better. So as far as static pressure is concerned, it's actually pushing the air pretty well, and I'm going to say this is about one and a half millimeters of static pressure. But well, we'll see. Can you do me a favor, please? Please like, subscribe, and share. It helps me out if you do that. Uh, it helps me to grow my channel, and it just takes you a few seconds. And we'll take a look at the specs now. Oh, by the way, since it's one and a half centimeter or millimeters of static pressure, it's good for a case fan. It's good for an air cooler, but not a water cooler. All right. So, um, just for the record, these are old fans, um, and <clears throat> I did previously review the FN one twenty one. There is, and there's it's very hard to find information on that one because it's so old, and it's not a good fan anyways. The FN one twenty one P is, however, still on the Silverstone website, um, and it's. Um, as well as there are the blue, the green, and I think there's also a red. But again, uh, it depends on who made the fan for Silverstone, because I believe at that point Silverstone was not an OEM of fans. Um, it is now, and it has been for several years. Uh, <clears throat> but it's, uh, it, it, as far as I understand from uh, Tony, the marketing manager, they really only do commercial fans these days. Now, um, so we have the blue and the green. They're almost the same except for at the end after the P, there's a BL or GL for blue LEDs and green LEDs. And then the uh, there's an identifying number or, or model number on the P. 
packaging as well. That is G112-16250 for the blue and 280 for the green. These are $11 fans, which, yeah, it's a, a bit on the expensive side for what you're getting. Not horrible, but a bit on the expensive side. Now, both of them have certification from CE and ROHS and uh, EMC, but uh, there's also TUV and Underwriter Laboratories. Now, the Underwriter Laboratories one is E255983 for both of them. For TUV, however, they give different certifications. The blue is R5024675, and the red, I'm uh, sorry, the green is uh, R5008484. They are 120 by 25 millimeter fans, one year warranty in the US and Australia, two in the EU, four uh, blue or green LEDs, depending on which one you're talking about, 130 grams, nine blades, 105 millimeters between the mounting holes, 1200 RPMs, plus or minus 200 RPMs, 58.47 CFM. So you can see that these are actually stronger than the one that I um, re just reviewed before this from, that's the Silverstone Martech uh, one, and 1.12 millimeters of static pressure, 25.15 decibels, which I think actually is probably a little bit um, high. I think it's actually lower than that. 50 uh, centimeters, no daisy chaining or sleeving for the cable, uh, three pin DC connector, sleeve bearings, 12 volts, 6.5 to 13.8 uh, at the maximum, 1.32 watts with a safety or maximum of 3.96, and that's 0.11 amps or 0.33 amps. No indicators for direction of rotation and flow. Turns in a clockwise direction. Uh, comes with four fan bolts, and yeah, that's all there is to it. Hello, thanks for watching my video and I need to ask for your help. Um, so my financial situation has become very uncertain with my employer and also with the workers comp case I have from an injury I had at work uh, last year in 2023 uh, for which I'm currently suing the workers comp company. I really don't know what's going to happen in the next few months, but in I would if you can find it within your ability without screwing yourself up to uh, help me out, you have two options. Um, one of those is which is to just go to my channel, Glenn's Fast Reviews, and uh, make a one-time donation there. Or if you would want to do a re uh, repeating donation, a monthly donation, you can go to patreon.com slash... Um, <coughs> so, slash... G-L-E-N-N-M-I-I. -N -N That's G as in Glenn. L-E-N as in Nancy. N as in Nancy. M as in Mary. I. I. No, not I. I, but I. I. Right? And uh, there are various choices for you to uh, sign up for. Um, if you cannot afford the lowest um, option that I have put up there, let me know and I will put in a lower option that can work for other people. Um, also, I want to say thank you to my very first Patreon, Rudik uh, from Australia, who has been very kind enough to uh, support me and even said if I can't afford the postage to send the gifts that he has uh, become eligible for, that's okay. Um, I will certainly try to do that anyways, um, and uh, it, it means a lot because not only did you um, choose to financially support me, but you've also been supportive in some of your in some comments on my, some of my videos, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. So um, yeah, if there are any questions, please put them in the comments and uh, you here or on Patreon, and uh, I will try to get back to as quickly as possible. Sometimes I don't see comments right away because of the way YouTube works. And, uh, oh, by the way, um, thank you to Bleeping Computer, and it's the owner of Bleeping Computer who goes by the name of Grindler online on, uh, on his uh, website for allowing me to use his platform to promote my channel, uh, the PC Expert Amateur, and uh, it's I appreciate it very much, and you sh if you need help with, uh, say, malware or, or technical problems with your computer, 
the uh, bleeping computer volunteers are a good bunch of people who have a, a great deal of knowledge about a lot of different kinds of problems with computers um, and with mal there is a dedicated volunteer <coughs> malware removal team there sorry and we'll be happy to help you and you can just go to bleepingcomputer.com and click on the forums. There's also lots of uh, great news about cybersecurity, about hackers and stuff like that. 